The diagram on the right is called the unit circle. It will not be provided on a formula sheet, so it must be memorized. In part A, we will learn some useful tips to memorize the unit circle. The unit circle contains angles that are multiples of 30 degrees and 45 degrees. If you need help understanding the highlighted angles, review example 3 in the Degrees and Radians lesson where the topic is covered in depth. The terminal arm corresponding to each angle intersects the circumference of the unit circle at the point P. So P at pi over 3 equals 1 over 2, comma, the square root of 3 over 2 means the terminal arm corresponding to the angle pi over 3 intersects the circumference of the unit circle at the point with coordinates of 1 over 2, comma, the square root of 3 over 2. Now we'll learn some strategies that will help us memorize the coordinates of the unit circle. The radius of the unit circle is 1, so it is fairly straightforward to get the coordinates of the points highlighted in purple. On the positive x-axis, at an angle of 0 radians, we have the coordinates 1, 0. On the positive y-axis, at an angle of pi over 2 radians, we have the coordinates 0, 1. On the negative x-axis, at an angle of pi radians, we have the coordinates negative 1, 0. On the negative y-axis, at an angle of 3 pi over 2 radians, we have the coordinates 0, negative 1. We have now found all the axis points. Now we'll learn how to find the coordinates of non-axis points. First, notice the pattern of the signs for each point. In the first quadrant, x is positive and y is positive. In the second quadrant, x is negative and y is positive. In the third quadrant, x is negative and y is negative. In the fourth quadrant, x is positive and y is negative. Now look for patterns within the fractions. All numerators are square rooted. Even though it looks like 1 isn't square rooted, that's just because the square root of 1 is equal to 1. All denominators are 2. Finally, observe how the numerators change. Starting from the x coordinate at pi over 6, the pattern around the circle is 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. Starting from the y coordinate at pi over 6, the pattern around the circle is 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. We have now learned all of the techniques required to draw the unit circle from memory. Now we'll move on to part B. Draw the unit circle from memory using a partially completed template. In the template, we have blank spaces for the angles and coordinates. The first thing we need to do is label all of the angles. Start with the multiples of 30 degrees. Count out multiples of pi over 6 around the unit circle.
reduce each fraction. Now label the multiples of 45 degrees. Count out multiples of pi over 4 around the unit circle. The even multiples are provided as placeholders. They are not actually required since we already know these angles. Reduce each fraction. We have now labeled all of the angles. Next, we'll label the coordinates. Label the axis coordinates first. Write the coordinates of each axis angle. Before we continue, let's clean up our work. Now we'll label the remaining coordinates. Draw in the fraction lines. Pay attention to the sign of the x and y values. In quadrant 1, both the x and y values are positive. In quadrant 2, the x value is negative and the y value is positive. In quadrant 3, both the x and y values are negative. In quadrant 4, the x value is positive and the y value is negative. All of the denominators are 2. Take a moment to write 2's in the denominator of each fraction. Now fill in the x value numerators using the pattern 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. Remember, all numerators are square rooted. 1 does not have a square root symbol because the square root of 1 equals 1. Take a moment to fill in the x value numerators. Now fill in the y value numerators using the pattern 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Take a moment to fill in the y value numerators. We have now completed the unit circle. Practice drawing the unit circle on your own until you feel comfortable reproducing it from memory.